my mother, Elizabeth, or Betty, Blair, was born on January 5, 1939. She married my father on June 21, 1958, at the age of 19, which was typical then, and I was born 11 months later. In my tenth presentation, I summarized what her childhood was like, and how she needed to learn how to be a mother from scratch. As far back as I can remember, my mother was concerned that my brother Eric and I did our best in school, and were neat, clean, and polite, but most importantly, that we learned and practiced the Catholic faith. She is proud to say she became a Catholic in grade school, and that she believes in it completely. She was a stay-at-home mom throughout our childhood and youth. She was always home and greeted us when we got there with a warm meal and clean clothes. I regret to say that I took her kindness for granted. My father was old school in the sense that we were raised to not do household chores, saying that it was women's work. That might have made sense for him, having nine sisters, but not in our home with three boys. My mom had to do it all, and she did. Mom is a wonderful grandmother. Her home is always open to our children anytime, and if she had a dollar for every time she babysat, we'd be broke, and she'd be rich. She's affectionately known as Grandma Betty by almost everyone. When I meet with childhood friends, they inevitably ask about her, saying she was so nice to them, and that they love her. And everybody raves about her lemon meringue pies. We've gotten much closer since my dad's death almost six years ago. While I was still driving, I made it a point to visit her each week and we had some epic Scrabble matches. One thing I've noticed about my mom is how affectionate she's become. She never tires of hugging and kissing me, and is moved to tears each time she sees me because of the progression of my disease. When I'm with her, I can feel how much the Blessed Virgin Mary loves and cares for me. I love my mom so much. I'd say, in every way possible, God gave me just the mom I needed. Nine years old, saying goodnight Winter flannels just ain't fitting quite right And I call a sadness in your eyes Just a glance that somehow meant In a blink your boy will be a man But you can't let your baby go One day time will pack away my toys But I'll never be too old to be a boy Listen closely So that you'll always know When you kiss me on my cheek No matter how old I am Don't worry mama I won't wipe it off let it sink in Twenty-three flying overseas You're at the airport waving bye to me Your eyes begging Baby, please don't go Now do these distance we just can't avoid But I'll never be too old to be Boy, listen closely So that you'll always know When you kiss me on my cheek No matter how old I am Don't worry, Mama I won't wipe it off I'll let it sink In the sun, muddy hands always in the wrong. Go karts graduated to gas. Nights I was too late getting back. In the trouble I found, the trouble I made, the hearts I stole, and my heart breaks. You were there in the winds and every mistake. Now you're watching me say, I do today. Watching me say, 
Can you kiss me on my cheek? No matter how old I am, don't worry, Mama. I won't wipe it off. When you kiss me on my cheek, no matter how old I am, don't worry, Mama. I won't wipe it off. I'll let it sink. 